Hello Star Trackers and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mall Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about sarcoptic mange. Basically mange is the disease that is caused by mites. And there's lots of different types of mites. Um, there's ear mites and there's skin mites. Of the skin mites, there's some that are contagious, so there's some that aren't. The sarcoptic mange is a contagious mite. Uh, it can pass to other pets as well as to humans. Um, most mites are either, either species specific or species prevalent, meaning that they have a species that they prefer more, but they can cause disease on others. For example, with their sarcoptes, although humans can get it, and usually it's seen as little red dots and itching, um, usually it'll go away once you treat the dog and the environment. If it doesn't, you may want to see your doctor, and I know they sell a shampoo at the pharmacies or a body wash that will help clear it up as well. Um, in the pets, the disease is usually found in immunocompromised pets. So for example, your very young dogs, your pregnant dogs, ill dogs, very old dogs, they're the ones that typically get it because their immune system is weakened and so they can't fight it off as well. It can be found in any pet though, um, but like I said, just more commonly in your immunocompromised ones. Symptoms are uh, severe itching. If you guys watch our Snapchat on Thursday, we had a little puppy with sarcoptic mange and the only symptom it had um, was severe dandruff, which is actually common when the babies are really tiny. They don't know to itch yet, and so um, you just find the dandruff. But in this case, um, usually it's severe itching. Sometimes there's redness and irritation, there's hair loss. The mites actually live their entire lives or can live their entire lives on the dog itself. It can also last for about six hours in the environment um, off of the pet but can also be transmitted from pet to pet either by direct contact, so the dogs wrestling or, or playing together or sleeping together, or by things such as brushes and blankets and towels. So we usually recommend when you're dealing with a pet like this and you're working on getting it treated um, to wear gloves and maybe keep it in an area where it doesn't have exposure to other pets and make sure that you clean the bedding, towels, anything that's, uh, you know, exposed to it every single day so we can kill those mites and get those out of the environment. Uh, I rescued a dog, I'll, you know, you guys have probably seen my little uh, terrier cross and that one was actually abandoned at the clinic because it had sarcoptes and so I rescued it and it lived, it was a tiny baby, but it lived in my tub for six weeks until it actually got cleared. So the treatment can take anywhere from two to several weeks to treat. And there's several different treatments that we do depending on the severity and the breed of the dog. Some, some breeds like Collies can't handle certain medications. And so your veterinarian will um, make up a protocol dependent on that pet. But it is important that you do rechecks because like I said, it can last several weeks. And uh, sometimes you'll get a negative skin scraping, but it's not completely gone yet. So we usually treat until there's two negative skin scrapings. If you have any other questions, let us know. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.